Hello and welcome to another Skyfix tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at the Skylark Automatic Antenna Tracker Convert Module, how it's wired up, and the pinouts of the actual board itself. So here we have a picture of the actual Skylark Antenna Tracker Convert Module. Now for the purposes of this video, how you see it in this picture is how we will orientate it for all of the, the wiring diagrams. For example, the word Skylark is at the top um, of the actual convert module itself, uh, correctly orientated so that you can read it with the two multiplugs either side on top of the board as opposed to being underneath. As it's laid out here is how we want to take the information from the flight controller through the converter to the GPS module. So, for example, GPS module will be on the left uh, and the flight controller will be on the right and, and this is how we're going to wire it up. Uh, as you'll see in the two following pictures. Now then, from the GPS side of the Skylark antenna tracker convert module, you'll see that the, the red wire uh, is, is your voltage, the black wire is your ground, the yellow wire is your TX, and your white wire, represented here in grey, but just take my word for it, it's the white one, is your RX. On the right-hand side, or your flight controller, or your OSD side of the convert module, the white wire is TX, the yellow wire is RX, the black wire is still the ground, and the red wire is still voltage. Okay, so let's just take a couple of seconds to actually talk about what TX and RX represent. Now, TX being transmit and RX being receive, if you wanted to pass uh, some information from one module to another, you output it via a TX, and then the module that you want the information to go to receives it via the RX. Likewise, coming back, that module would then transmit out from the TX back to the RX of the original control module. Now, what we want to do with the Skylark Automatic Antenna Tracker Convert Module is not interrupt, but just simply intercept this TX and RX network. So what we don't want to do is completely stop any information being passed to and from the flight controller to the GPS module. We just simply want to be able to, almost like a Y lead with two servos from a receiver, we just want to borrow that information into another control module uh, without actually fully stopping that information network. Okay, moving on then to our first wiring diagram. This is an example of how the Skylark convert module is wired into the APM, well, my mind's a 2.6, but it'll work with 2.5, 2.7, whatever. It's interesting to note that at this point, an out-the-box standard firmware convert module will not work with the U-Blocks GPS module. If you refer to an earlier video of mine that I've done, it is on my channel, it does show you how to update the software for the convert module to understand the U-Blocks GPS data. Now looking at this diagram of our APM flight controller and our U-Blocks GPS module, we're going to take the green wire from the APM RX, which would normally go to the green wire on the U-Blocks GPS module TX, and intercept it with the convert module. So, for example, we always want to go RX, TX, RX, TX, never TX to TX, never RX to RX, because it just simply won't communicate. So the RX green wire from the APM will go to the white wire TX on the Skylark convert module, will go through the convert module, and come out on the white wire, which is the RX on the left, into the green TX on the U-Blox GPS. Likewise with the yellow TX wire from the APM into the convert module and out the other side. So we, we're constantly maintaining TX, RX, TX, RX. Uh, in this particular diagram, the power uh, or the VCC and the ground both stay constant on either side. So if you've gotten this far, then I'm guessing that you're pretty much savvy with uh, the wiring of an APM to a, a GPS module and that what a Skylark automatic antenna tracker convert module does. But it is just worth mentioning at this point that the brown wire that comes off the lower part of the convert module is the signal wire that would go to the audio channel of your video transmitter. So the information that's being passed from the GPS module to the APM, as it's going through the Skylark convert module, it is converted, it's encoded into uh, that brown wire through your video 
transmitter down through the audio line to your ground station. Okay, I'm finally moving on to the Cyclops Storm OSD. I cannot rate this OSD or this flight controller enough. It's absolutely fantastic and seriously good value for money. However, there are some ins and outs you need to know about using it with a convert module that we will now go through. Okay, for a kickoff, in their infinite wisdom, the three wires that go between the GPS module and the actual flight controller itself are completely back to front, and if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to end up frying something. For example, the red wire is the ground. It's complete and utter madness. The TX wire, your communication wire, is the black one, which you would normally think is a ground. And finally, the voltage is a white wire. It's completely back to front, but nevertheless, it, you know, it seems to work. Okay, so you've noticed between the GPS module and the controller, there's only three wires, whereas in the previous picture on the APM, there was four. Now, the communication between the Storm OSD and its GPS module is just simply one way. The GPS is just constantly sending snippets of data to the OSD module. Under no circumstances does any information leave the OSD and go back into the GPS module. So this, of course, just leaves us with three wires, the ground, the power, and the TX between the two. Now, the first time I tried to wire up a convert module, the first thing that I did, like in our APM picture, was cut all three wires between the GPS module and the OSD and wired them in correctly, for example, TX, RX, RX, TX, power as an earth, through the convert module. Now, interestingly, it didn't work. However, the convert module did flash rapidly to suggest that it had got a home position, but the on-screen display, actually on my little TV monitor, was showing zero satellites and, and was, was basically showing up no communication with the GPS module. So then what I decided to do was to take the wiring loom from the GPS to the OSD and leave it complete and just simply branch off the information that the convert module needs and this worked like an absolute charm. The Skylight module started flashing rapidly to suggest that it had got a home position. And on my little TV monitor for the OSD, I could see that it got six and seven satellites and it recorded a home position. So, OK, that pretty much sums up today's uh, video. Um, one thing I will leave you with is that both of these diagrams um, are tried and tested. Uh, funny enough, both in a Hobby King Go Discover. Again, there are previous videos that I have uploaded to my YouTube channel and you can see those. Um, so please feel free to watch those to see if you can get any valuable information from them. I do find it frustrating about the lack of instruction or the lack of knowledge really from the producer of the automatic antenna tracker. So it does leave the customer really to sort of try and figure it out themselves really and just sort of hash through it. So now that I have gone through that process and a couple of people on uh, a few of my videos have questioned me and asked me for further information. I thought that I would make another YouTube video and hopefully it can try and help somebody out. Just as I get help from YouTube, it doesn't hurt to sort of uh, try and help other people as well. Thanks for watching.